Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you give me on that basically validating that the things that I'm going through, you're also experiencing the same things too. And you no, know, it feels good that we can actually put labels and names on the things that we're going through and not think we're actually going freaking crazy. <laughs> So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and light, love and blessings, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just opening up, tell me about your empathic gift and how it's been placed upon you. And, you know, been impacted upon you. And send you towards positive direction. And if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes, you know, you feel like you want to share with somebody, please go ahead and do so. While you're at it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing love and support. And I appreciate that a lot. And I hope you're able to get something out of the content of my video. And the music, oh, my phone's over here. Bam, uh, the music that I'm listening to today is so peaceful, too. And um, it's called Bamboo Flute Music, Asian Music, Medi me uh, Meditation, and Relaxing Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And the video I'm doing today is Empath going, to, going Through the Inevitable. There is a lot, a lot of things that we have probably went through. <laughs> that we have ran from, we probably went haul butt screaming just because we didn't want to deal with it. And it is like when we trying to run from when we're trying to run from things and we're trying to figure out why we are not healing the way we need to heal, it's because there's a lot of things that we are not recognizing that we really need to that is keeps constantly like spearing out. Like you're probably dealing with that past vomit that comes up you know how like you can be eating and then you know that's gross when that belch comes up and it has that nasty taste you're like Ugh. you know something like that and i mean that's what that past vomit feels like and there's things that we really truly need to deal with and it's like if you want to heal and you want to go to that next chapter you have to be able to recognize the things that has really caused some problems in your lives. Because it's like, I guarantee you, anybody that I've probably talked to, and I'm not saying like I'm, you know, I'm not a doctor or psychiatrist. It's just on my personal note on things I've went through and people I have, you know, dealt with throughout my years. Is that, you know, we can really go through some childhood mess or something can really tragic, tragically happen to us where it can pull out of mental illness like people get phobias you know I've seen movies and stuff like that even though it is movies but I've heard of real people going through the same thing you know having accidents in cars and you know and it's just terrified of getting in cars again it's just like you can't even hit us hit a speed bump without them folks like oh my god what did you do what did you do you know and it, it gets like that so it's just like, you know, when you get into it, it's hard to do that, especially if you got into a car accident. I've been in so many car accidents, and it's like, it's terrified me to have to get on the road. But I know I could not let that fear stop me from going where I had to go. You know, even though I was terrified, I just had to make sure I paid attention. You know, look all the ways, you know. It just make sure because other people you have to drive for you and drive for other people too so that's just basically like life you know when we go through things and it's just like it, it will keep you banded to the point where you feel like you're a prisoner in your own life where you feel like you are not going anywhere this is not going to ever heal and you have to really and I mean I have to tell myself that too because I mean dealing with what you got to deal with I, like I said I tell y'all a lot I don't know your situation you know your situation you know what you have been through you know what things still trigger you you know what things you have let let go of but there's things that you probably are still dealing with that you know has really messed you up to where it's just like why can't I you know 
why can't I get through this? Why can't I get over this? Because it's a process, especially if it's something that, you know, that is, it, is unavoidable. You have to deal with that. It's just like, it, it, it's just like I tell y'all when I watch movies, I, there's times I have been watching stuff and it will just like, just like hit in the gut. Like I, I had to grow a pair of gonads and they were just like, just steady getting hit from just movies that I watched like that, you know, <laughs> I'm dealing with that. It, it, I would just run from it. Like, you know, this is really messed up. I didn't even want to deal with it. it. Like I told y'all that happened to me this week around this time just dealing with stuff like that and I know there's things that I really have to deal with that trigger me to the point where I get emotional at times you know because there's stuff that I'm still not I don't have closure from you know it's trying to have get all these answers and you got a parent that's dead you know one you're still searching for and then you got a set you just don't want to tell the truth and you're trying to heal and forgive and move on with your life and knowing it's hard to do that without getting any answers closures or truth so it's just like you have to be able I have to be able to forgive these people for what they did to me and I'm just like I know I have to do it I know it feels so hard to do it but I gotta do it because it's like you know that that just gives them power over me so it's just like that's gonna be that thing that holds me back because I was angry with them because of what they put me through even though they're not putting me through it anymore because I don't allow them to get at arm's length or ear's length to where I can hear anything we voice anything to each other so you know I, I just had to do that and it's just not avoiding it. it's just choose to break off you know toxic contact you know when you go through things like that if you you have to deal with somebody like that you have no choice but deal with them because of financial issues or you know you're stuck in a rock and a hard place right now try to break off all you know as much contact you possibly can or you're healing from something and you know people keep coming back and it just seems like when you know you head towards something good it seems like that past will come back with you and that's inevitable because it needs closure when you have people that come in your life you got a point blank hey hey uh-uh <laughs> uh-uh <laughs> uh-uh I'm heading towards a positive light you blocking my blessings or you dragging me down I can't do that you just have to be point blank like that. Sometimes it is is messed up to be rude like that because I don't like being rude. But they weren't messed up when they put you in the predicament to make you feel that way. So you know, hey, <laughs> hey, and I can't be responsible for what response you got from the reaction you got me projecting on the first place. You know, in the first place, you know, you get whatever you know, whatever situation that is. You know, you put me in a good situation, you get goodness. You know, sometimes you try to pull me out of my character, I'm going to still show goodness just because you expected me to act a fool, and I didn't act a fool. So it's just like, you know, you have to really be thinking about stuff like that because it's like, when, like I tell y'all all the time, when we go through stuff, it is a test. When, it tell, when you say you got patience and stuff like that, or oh, I'm not going to let just anything get to me, some, I guarantee you something will get in your path just to piss you off, just to see if you're going to get mad at it. We we're like, okay, well, you know, such and such said that they weren't going to get mad about this no more. Okay, well, let me go ahead and throw this dice and get bring that bad luck back into their life and see how they react to it now if you be grateful for those situations like that you know be mad about it for a quick second and say you know what it could have been a lot worse got over it in the universe like see okay such as such is learning now but if you go flying off the handle and saying you know what they're right back at square one you're still not healing from it and it's just like I had to do that because it's like things will get thrown in my path just to see if it'll affect me a certain way or it'll, if it'll trigger me like it was and I know that's something I still have to work on so it's just like you know like I tell y'all when you're heading towards your goals or heading towards your blessings you know you want something and you might get a disappointment because you might not have got that job like I said you know you have to be making sure are you going to be able to do all these things that they require are you, are you in that head headspace to be entering this job it's just like when you you want things like this right now like with me and my situation am i mentally ready for all this now no but i'm getting there 
you know, dealing with stuff like this, especially with when, you know, you're dealing with celebrities and, you know, stuff that still has not been closed. You have to have a tough skin for it. And I had to start becoming having start becoming having and all that other stuff of getting tough skin because there are so many things that's been thrown at me about my father you know negative comments you know laughter and you know at first that stuff really got to me now it's just like I can laugh it off and just push the lead because it's like whatever I know I'm pushing out pos positivity I know I'm speaking truth I know the word needs to get out there. I know there's people there's people out there that actually genuinely appreciate the things that I tell them because it's helping them along their path. So, you know, do heal yourself where you need to heal. Let go of things you need to let go of. I tell myself this every day because you have so much more better, you know, better blessings coming your way if you can just let go of that negative anger that has held you back for so long be able to let those folks go or who, whatever has got you to that point where you have put walls up for certain things be able to tear those walls down don't allow that to have power over you anymore and i have to tell myself that you know same same every day so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video much love to all i hope y'all have a blessed weekend god dog it just seemed like i just told y'all have a blessed weekend a few days ago it's like time's going by fast so you know send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are blessed highly favored and truly loved and know that blessings are definitely coming your way sending out some infinite abundance, uplifting vibes, and loving vibes, and healing vibes, especially if you truly need them. And like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on my on your social media favorites. Give me a, you know, a, a hit up on the line or two. I love to get the chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and what how it's placed upon you and hitting you towards a positive direction and i hope you have a blessed safe turned up but safe weekend so be responsible for everything you do i know it's the weekend you might want to have a beer or two you hey you want to you might get a token too but just be responsible and i'll see you on my next video <laughs> peace love and be wild